The Ministry of Lands has stopped registration of long-term leases supported by architectural drawing, which means apartment owners will now have title deeds as opposed to long-term leases. The law enacted in December 2020 was put in place to protect apartment owners from potential exploitation from building owners, as Faisal Ahmed reports. The Section on Properties Act provides for independent ownership of floors in apartments, which means that just one can hire a floor in a building so that they can buy it. Once they do that, they will be issued with certificates of title that they are recognized and legal owners of those individual floors. Previously, this was not the case, and leases were prone to abuse. The developer would hold the mother title, the, the title to the entire parcel of land. And what would some of them do? Go to the bank, take out a loan, and you're sitting in your apartment thinking you want the apartment. If they default, what happens? Your apartment is sitting on that parcel of land. It can very easily be sold. It means that the, the owners of the units have the power to control what happens and how to use the common property. Therefore, the developer now is powerless as long as by that time he has transferred ownership of the units. He's powerless to, to misuse the common property or misuse that title. I think it's a, it's, it's a very good act for that purpose. In suspending the registration, the ministry in a notice noted that owners of the properties will not incur additional costs on stamp duty if they had already paid this before. Once we register that section of plan as a ministry, we automatically cancel the mother title. So nobody is, is available to play monkey with it. And you, the individual owner, can then transact in your own property. So those properties, now the sectional units, yeah. what we are now doing is bringing them on board the Sectional Properties Act of 2020. And we are saying we will do it at the cost of government because the mistake in the first place was the mistake of government. We registered them using the wrong, the, the wrong law. So we need to bring them to the correct legal framework. The law states that individual proprietors of the units together own the building. As such, they have common property. These can be managed by a corporation that is established by law. And that also gives them the power to de determine who does management. They, as long as there is a majority, they can kick out a management company that is not acting as, as per their needs. Uh, there is also an interesting bit that um, if you are a tenant in any of those units that fall under the Sectional Properties Act, the corporation that is established under the, the Section of Properties Act can kick out a tenant, even if the owner does not wish to do so. If the tenant has contravened certain bylaws. The law also provides for ease of trade-off of individual units or even use them to obtain financing. They pay their rates and rents as would any landowner. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nero.